Hello there, YouTube. Once again, this is Omega Dragon 4 bringing to you finally another episode of Let's Play Metroid Fusion 1% Run. Looking back, I can't believe it's been three years since I last uploaded a video for this game. Uh, my computer has been out of commission for just about that long. Actually, no. The computer's been out of commission for about a year, but I never had a good way of actually recording and I didn't want to actually do this game unless it looked well, looked good on video. Remember all my other videos are very skippy, very low quality, but now, as you may have noticed, I've got it on a different, different emulator. I've actually got it on the homebrew version of the Game Boy Advance emulator, which works so much better with uh, my new computer. I've actually got a new laptop, it's, uh, and it works so much better than the last one. I can actually actually have good quality. <laughs> so let's see. As we resumed off, we I can't remember what we were doing actually. I believe we just unlocked the data room and not the data room. Well, I think the data room. We unlocked bombs after unlocking the security lock. That was it. And so now we're supposed to go back and talk to Mr. Computer Man Adam. But. Although I don't show it, I don't believe you can actually go back. Now that was an, that's an empty, that was a room with power up, so I wasn't interested. But I don't believe you can actually get back to the navigation room normally, so you have to do a little bit of exploration. I got hit right there. I hate those those things. I don't know why. Um, speaking of which, since this is on the Wii emulator, the yeah, save room, I get to use a GameCube controller with this game, which isn't entirely as responsive as the Xbox controller. Um, those little, those little guys right there. And I had something with the microphone, excuse me. That's an energy tank there, but you'll notice you actually want to come here because... Da -da -da, boss Guardian door thing. Get one missile. Two missile. And just to make some use a charge beam, why not? Alright, and into the boss room. I'm just <laughs> messing around. This boss is almost path is pathetically easy. There we have the core X, and he forms to create Pogo X! Creature, I'm not actually sure. I've looked at the trivia on it. I'll probably do it for those next few, next few bosses. Um, Yeah, this is, this is pretty much all it does. It is a very simple attack pattern. He'll follow you around for a bit, jump up high around you. Literally, you have to do is just stay in the same spot. He'll jump over you every time. And wait for him to open his big maw on the bottom of his body there, and you can shoot up. And you see me using missiles, and I'm going to actually get him here in a minute, but you can still use missiles to hurt him. It's just a little bit challenging to aim them right. Like right there, I managed to get You can do a lot of damage to him at once. So yeah, this is this is pretty much all the fight is. Just the main point is you gotta destroy the all the sections of his body. For now. Sorry. Ah, it's almost gone for some text. But it's not like it really matters, cause not exactly a very thrilling boss fight. This is literally all he does. Okay, now that you have all the main sections of the body done, it acts a little bit differently, because now he's just a little bit faster, and every time he jumps up, he's going to open his maw. Before, if he had his body and he actually managed to capture you, he would suck you up into his body and do constant damage, in which case you just spam more falls, more fall bombs, to get out. When he's in just ahead, he doesn't do that, he just hurts you. We destroy his main body and we get to the hardcore X, which at this point aren't really a threat at the moment. This time my missile right there. You'll see I go for the double missile trick. You can tell it actually hit because you didn't get a little chink. That plays if a uh, missile didn't hit. So that was a two for one. And he's destroyed and we get the high jump and jump ball ability. So now our. Nah, I made a mistake right here. I forgot that push on this emulator. If you push left. On the C stick, it opens up the main menu of the emulator. I accidentally did that, so you have to forgive that. But yeah, the high jump ability recover, return to navigation room. Now we can actually go back with the high jump. And you see this floor here looks breakable, but it's not. But yeah, the high jump pretty, I believe, doubles your jump and it gives you the ability to jump with your morph ball. 
which does come in handy in certain points and you wouldn't need it since you don't have infinite jump infinite bomb jumping in this game save the game right there and I couldn't remember where to go at for the moment because it's been so long <laughs> you can tell this is post commentary uh, up there there's some power bomb blocks you can't do anything with those right now you go down. I couldn't remember who was down here if this is the way you're supposed to go, but as you find out, this is actually the lower room to the entrance where the boss door is. It's right, it was right there, and you can't bomb the section. So you'd know, if you come down here first, you would know that there's a boss coming up. So it was a little bit of a waste of time, but eh. You notice that all the creatures that were here, those red crawlers, I can't remember their official names. I'll probably look those all up. Are now hardened into cocoons. You see here the door is broken. I was just messing around, being stupid as usual. You see you can destroy part of the floor here, and you go down, and the horror herself, the S A X. Yes, I'm going to try and say yeah. I'm, just, I'm trying to mess around with her, but she's just totally ignoring everything I throw at her. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and actually say the S A X. Looking back, saying the Saw X sounds really kind of stupid. <laughs> Yeah, we follow her and we see that she's gone. And you can see that the cocoons are already starting to morph into something. Ooh. You can see right here. Before, you wouldn't be able to get up here. You can see just how high that the high jump sends you. you Going on this tunnel, bomb. Bomb the upper one. You could have just jumped all up there, but I didn't even think about it. My door. Totally ignore him, because he's the one that killed me. I remember at least that much. So get hit by those green thorns. I always try to wall jump right here, but I can never do it. I'm not sure why I didn't grab the ledge right there. Go back to the more fall. You're back into the main hub of Sector 2 Tro. Heading back up. Up and up, up, up. And go into the recharge room. Could use a little bit of energy and missiles. Go ahead and do that. I went I did do that. Need to remember to start talking in past tense. Save the game, and we go and see Mr. Computer Man, Adam, to get an update. Now that we have the high jump and jump ball, I'm sure he's got some nice information for us. Oh, I know he does. And music changes. Listening to Serial Bad Idea. Yeah, I kind of skip over this text by mistake. Several thousand X. Blue hatch is active. Basically, it's our fault that the X and the SAX got into the other sector. Head for Sector 4, Aqua, or AQA. It's pretty much Aqua. I'm gonna say Aqua. And we head up the elevator, and here we get some of Samus' thoughts. The SAX, an enemy with my strongest abilities, but does it have a reason? Probably not. It's just a killing machine. My current state, I can't face it head on. The SAX is me, only heartless. I must stop it before it learns its potential and threatens the universe. So basically Samus knows just how powerful she is when she's at her greatest potential. Samus is the ultimate threat to the universe. Thankfully she's a good guy. At least until we meet Dark Samus, which would have timeline wise already happened, so take it how you take it how you will. Sector 4, AQA Aqua. Into the door and go see Mr. Computer Man. Hello, Adam. And you can see just how big a Aqua is. It's it doesn't have too many secret areas, well, the off the map areas, but it's still a lot to explore. And I decided to actually go slowly over the text, so the rest of this video is actually just Adam talking and telling Samus what to do. Hide your intelligence, and yeah, probably should just be reading. I find the X fascinating, especially these this SAX. Very bad words to ever say in a sci-fi setting. If you've ever seen aliens, then you definitely know. Which Metroid took a lot of inspiration from. Okay, there he just told us about Ceres, a, a creature capable of moving and attacking at ultra-high speeds. Ooh, what if that sounds familiar to an ability Samus has had in the past. The more senseless and widespread destruction here may be attributable to Ceres, which I believe Ceres is a mythological name, but I can't remember the story off 
top of my head. No doubt the SAX released it, but I can't determine why yet. Ceres has returned, returned often to the breeding tank here. I <laughs> probably went through this text a little too slowly. Natural behavior must be good to go back to it periodically. Ceres, I know, has been given a few, like for my few friends that have played this game, I know Ceres gave him a lot of trouble. I have learned. Spoiler alert, we're gonna fight Ceres. But. I have learned a you know, pretty simple little attack pattern that works effectively well. It's a little dangerous with the 1% run, but it shouldn't be too bad. With my other runs, I never encountered too many problems. I maybe once or twice, so it should be good. It's the other bosses that I'm worried about. Most other bosses. And here's telling us that there is exposed wires touching the water, and if we touch the water, we're going to be electrocuted, which does constant damage. Conserve energy as you go. And so, we head out in the next video. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. But you can probably tell just from the remaining time, so we save the game. And next time we explore, we engage Ceres, and we explore all of... Sector 4. Here we have our stats. We have the Morph Ball, High Jump, and Missiles. So, we'll see what happens next time. See if we can uh, find Saris and take him on. Alright, see you guys next time.